Okay, this video is for Slider, and uh, you made the comment that you could just take a couple of pieces of aluminum and form up a rechargeable cell, and I was really skeptical, but uh, I thought I would try it, and man, it worked. I, I can't believe this worked, and I don't know why we haven't done this before. Maybe we have, and I just haven't done it, but I'm on my kitchen here, my little kitchen, and... Uh, I'm just using plain old aluminum foil I get at the dollar store. This is bottled water and this sea salt. And this is a paper towel. You get it at the dollar store too. Any kind of paper towel. You put a piece of aluminum foil down on your kitchen countertop. You lay the paper towel on top of it. You mix up a concentrated solution of water and this sea salt. Concentrated. Put that on the paper towel. Put the other piece of aluminum foil on top and then you charge it with about three and a half volts um, and this puts out a lot of amperage one of these uh, lithium ion batteries and you get about half a volt out of it and it's enough to run that pulse motor and I was absolutely amazed anyway slider I hope people replicate this just to see um, that it's true and uh, you were right and let me show you what the voltage is on this without the charge I've been charging it so it's still got something in it at about a uh, quarter of a volt because I've been charging this thing up okay let me th throw some juice on it here with my little uh, battery You see this thing bubbling up? That's the uh, electrolysis basically going on there, but I'm also transferring ions evidently. And now I've got a charge, like a capacitor, like a super capacitor between these two plates. And people are going to say all you've made is a capacitor, but a capacitor would not run that pulse motor for as long as I'm going to show it here. It would immediately discharge. And that's why I say I think we've built some kind of a very simplistic um, battery. This is the voltage now. And watch this pulse motor rev up here as soon as I hook this up. And there goes the pulse motor. You can probably see the LED blinking too. And I was absolutely amazed. I mean, this is something I would have never thought you could make something like this, this simple, and get it to form up into a rechargeable cell using just aluminum foil, a paper towel, on the kitchen countertop with these ingredients. Aluminum foil, bottled water, sea salt. And like I say, normally a... Uh, a capacitor. If this was just a capacitor, it would have immediately discharged, and it doesn't. I mean, that, that to me is absolutely amazing, and I don't know why we haven't done this before. I mean, why, why didn't we try this years and years and years ago? Anyway, Slider, thanks a lot. I appreciate the tip. Uh, this is something that actually does work. It's amazing.